What is wrong at Kellogg? Well, it's the apocalypse in Cereal City. You know, they've had seven down quarters in breakfast food sales. They're closing cereal plants, and Wall Street doesn't think, or a lot of people don't think, that cereal sales will ever come back to what they were. So that's a big problem if you're the world's biggest cereal company. But is that Kellogg's fault, or is it, is it a result of sort of the gluten-free revolution? Well, it is, you know, there's been a massive fragment of the breakfast occasion, as a, cult, as a consultant says in my story. I mean, they're just getting nibbled away, you know, they're such a, from every direction. Egg sales, are, egg sales are up, oatmeal, yogurt, you name it. Breakfast is still a big business. It's an $8 billion a year business in the United States, but it's shrinking and everything else is growing. So, so, so that's, that's a problem, not just for Kellogg, but General Mills and Post, too. Well, I was just going to ask, are Post and General Mills doing as badly as Kellogg in this No, they're business? not doing as badly. So no. Kellogg must be doing something wrong. Yeah, I think there's a, a, a management problem there. There's an execution problem. I mean, basically, General Mills was very successful last year with Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That, the sales of that were up. Uh, Post was low, lowered prices on, on Honey Nut, uh, sorry, on, um, a bunch of its, its brands, so, so they've, they've, they've done better, but Kellogg just really can't get anything right. I mean, they, they did, they, they did do, they marketed Apple Jacks to adults, and, and they, had, had, so they did okay with that, but just generally, I think there's management problems, execution problems. But is it a, a marketing and branding problem? When you say Cinnamon Toast Crunch, I think of the Cinnamon Toast Crunch ads from 30 years ago. My sons, they want to eat junk 24 hours a day, but they feel no connectivity to Tony the Tiger. They don't know about Snap, Crackle, and Pop. Has Kellogg's lost its marketing ability? Well, I mean, the thing is, is that there are little examples of success, but none of it is, is enough to, over, to, to overcome just, you know, you, know, the, you know, the top line, the big massive top line decline for all these companies, you know, when it comes to cereals. So I guess, you know, the short answer is, is uh, you're right. You, you know, people are disconnected. I mean, you know, you know millennials who want to discover new things. They, you know, they're, they're niche products. The whole idea of, sort of the great big cereal brand that we all grew up with. I mean, I think those days are over, and not just for Kellogg, but for General Mills and Post too. So, if it's a management and or execution problem, Devin, how does a company like Kellogg fix it? Well, I think everybody thinks it's a takeover candidate. I'm sure you guys have heard, have heard that too. I mean, people think you know 3G or you know or somebody's going to come in there and and buy that company and take it private and just change. Do what know. they did for Kellogg, what they did for Burger, Burger King. King. Yeah, bur absolutely, Burger King or or, or, or for Heinz or, or 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 what their people did for for um, Anheuser Busch. I mean, I mean, you know, I do think that these are these are big valuable brands. I do think everybody still, whether or not they eat Frosted Flakes, they recognize Tony the Tiger. There's value there. It's just that. The current people at Kellogg, you know, aren't the people to extract the value right now. So is it if they launched a huge marketing campaign, brought Tony the Tiger back, could that change? Remember, it, kids, kids eat breakfast cereal every single day. Kids aren't eating that many eggs. They're not having kashi or oatmeal, and mine certainly don't have green juice. But if, one, if there was a great character, if there was a prize in the box, I sure as heck promise my kids would be begging for it. I just don't think that television advertising is going to do for them now what it did for them in the 50s and the 60s. I, I, you know, I just don't think, I think people are looking for something a little more authentic. And you're right, I mean... They own Kashi, they, though. Yeah, but, but, but Kashi's been a big disappointment. Kashi is a success story from the last decade. I mean, it, it, now it's, now they're seeing double-digit declines in some of their biggest Kashi brands. I mean, that, that Kashi's a mess. People decided that anything? sawdust doesn't taste good? That's what <laughs> is there, yeah, uh, no, is but, there but something you're... else, Devin, in their portfolio that shows promise? Uh, the, the, one of the big problems that they've had is that they've ex they have all these brand extensions and, and they had a big success in the last decade with uh, Special K, but they've extended Special K into snack bars and their cracker chips and, and all that stuff. And, and now their snacks division is suffering too. So, you know, the snack division sales in the U.S. were down by two percent, and that's and that John Bryant, the CEO, says it's the Special K snack bars that are that Would are falling. Would it help if they tried to buy something? You know, they well, bought Keebler, they bought Pringles. And they, and, and, and they bought an Egyptian bakery company. I, I, I think that General Mills did the smart thing by buying Yoplait, by buying yogurt. I mean, they, and that's, the, you know, people are switching from Cheerios to, to yogurt. Yeah. But almost half of, um, almost half of Kellogg's sales in the U.S. are still cereal dependent. So, uh, you know, they'd have to do something, they'd have to do something really big to diversify out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and I'm afraid, I think it's going to be... Chobani some, isn't enough. Somebody else is going to come in there, right. Somebody else is going to come in there and transform that company. I don't think it's these guys. All right. Maybe if they made bacon cereal. People love bacon. <laughs> hey, that's right, yeah. Devin, but your sons would love that, yeah. There you go.